In repeated identity or items questions, you will be given two sets of ratio. What is common about these two sets of ratio is that there is an item in common. For example, let's look at the question below. The ratio of number of apples to the number of pair was 1 to 3. The ratio of the number of pears to the number of lemon was 4 to 3. So what do you think is the repeated item in the two ratios? It is the pair, because it appears in both ratios. As you can see, on the left hand side is 3 units, and on the right hand side is 4 units. However, as we can see, the units is different in both ratios. So our job here is to change this both ratio, left and right, such that the units for the pair is the same. So in this case, the common multiple of 3 and 4 is 12. So we will change them to equivalent ratios. So the ratio on the left, I'm going to multiply it by 4. Units for apples will be the same, multiplied by 4. So I get 4 is to 3. And the ratio on the right hand side, I will have to multiply by 3. And the same for lemon, multiply by, multiply by 3. So 3 times 3 is 9. So now we have our new ratio, apples 4 units, pear 12 units, and lemon 9 units. So, what kinds of questions will be asked? You may be asked to find a new ratio. For example, the ratio of the number of pears to apples and to lemon. Or, you may be asked to find the number of items. For example, apples, the pears, or you may even ask to find total of fruits. Now let us try with a few questions. Ratio of the number of marbles that Ifan had to the number of marbles that Fiona had was 4 to 3. The ratio of the number of marbles Fiona had to the number of marbles Gaia had was 2 to 5. Now, using the concept of repeated identity or items, who is the common person in both ratio? Fiona, which means that the units should be the same. So now I'm going to change it to a common multiple of 3 and 2, which is 6. Okay, so to do so, I need to multiply 2 on the left ratio. So multiply by 2, I get 8 for Ifan. And the ratio on the right, I need to multiply by 3 to get 6. So 5 times 3, I get 15. Now, the next step, let's look at the question. They had a total of 174 marbles. So, first step, I can find out the total number of units in um, the three of them, which is 8 plus 6 plus 15. This 8 units refers to Ifan's unit, 6 refers to Fiona, and notice that I do not add twice because it's the same person. And the last person is Gaia, who has 15 units. Now the answer 8 plus 6 plus 15, I get 29. And I can finally link this number that's given 174 to these 29 units. Now the question, how many marbles did Ifan have? To do so, I can just straight away find one unit, which is 174 divided by 29. I will get 6. I usually tell my students that the finding of one unit is the key. What do I mean? The key, the key to success and the key to the answers or the questions that they want. So always find out one unit. The moment you get the one unit, you are one step to success. So the question wants Ifan who has 8 units. So my last step will be 6 times 8 and I'll get 48 and that's my answer. The ratio of the number of men to women at a concert is 3 is to 5. The ratio of the number of women to children is 2 is to 3. So now the question wants to know what is the ratio of the number of men to women 
little children? Before we give the answer, we need to look at the repeated identity in the two ratios given. So, women is the one that's common. So, we have 5 and we have 2. So, the common multiple of 5 and 2 is 10. That means the ratio on the left-hand side, I need to multiply by 2. 5 times 2 gives me 10. 3 times 2 gives me 6. The ratio on the right-hand side, I need to multiply by 5. 2 times 5 gives me 10. 3 times 5 gives me 15. Now, I will apply this new ratio into what they want, which means men, that will be 6, women, that's 10, and children, 15. Always give your answer in the simplest form, but in this case, 6 to 10 to 15 cannot be simplified. So, that's my answer. Sometimes, ratio questions can be combined with other topics. For example, the diagram below is made up of three circles. The areas of the individual circles, A, B, C, are in the ratio of 1 to 4 to 16. Now, they want us to find the ratio of the shaded area to the unshaded area. Now, the repeated identity in this case is hidden, or rather, is what I call the overlap theory. Okay, so to be able to find the white color portion or the unshaded area, I know the entire white color circle is 4. But I need to subtract 1 because the black color small circle is inside. So I know it is 3 units. 4 minus 1, I get 3 units. Now, the second part, I'm finding the big shaded area because the white color circle is covering or rather overlapping and I know the big black circle is 16. So 16 subtract the overlapping white circle, which is 4, I will get 12. Now, I can work on my answers provided here to solve the question. Shaded area to the unshaded area. So the total of the shaded area, this is 1, and the outside that I have found is 12. So 12 plus 1, I get 13. As for the unshaded, there's only one part that I have found, which is 3 units. So the answer is 3. And since the ratio cannot be expressed in simplest form, 13 to 3 is my answer. Let's take a look at the last question we have here. It is the same concept. But now, they need us to express fraction as ratio. Based on the first sentence, the mass of box A is 4 ninth of the mass of box B. So what does that mean? It means that box B has 9 units. And then now, the mass of box A is 4 out of 9. That means there are 4 units for box A. So we don't have to draw model or we don't have to deal with the fraction. But what we have to do now is just change it easily into this ratio. 4 is to 9. Now the second ratio that they gave us, the mass of box B to C is 2 is to 3. Now here is the same thing because the repeated identity is B and we have 9 and 2. So the common multiple will be 18. We're going to change it to 18. So the first one, we have to multiply by 2, so 4 times 2, I get 8. And the next one, I have to multiply by 9, 2 times 9, 18, 3 times 9, 27. Now at this point of time, let us go back to the question. They want us to express the answer as a fraction of the total mass of the boxes. Let's pause at this time. What's the total mass of A plus B plus C? So we have 8 plus 18 plus 27, which gives us 53. And that is my denominator. So I have my answer out of 53. And what do they want? Box B. So my numerator will be 18. 
Let's do a final check to see if we can simplify our answer. This is 18 and 53. I always try to divide by 2 or 3. And in this case, it cannot be because the bottom denominator is an um, odd number. So that's my final answer.